A lipless crankbait is one of the most exciting baits an angler can own. They're especially useful in the winter time when the bite gets really tough. Just work it really slow on the bottom and hold on. We're up here fishing in this super spot in a remote lake up in the mountains. Usually when I first come out here and start fishing this, I'll look for either the deepest part of the pond during the winter time, or if there's any riprap or rocks along the bank. This is the Cotton Cordell Super Spot. And it's one of the most legendary lipless crankbaits on the market, and it puts out an insane amount of vibration in the water. Now, one of the great things about this bait is you can cast it an absolute mile. The bait weighs about a half an ounce, and that really comes in handy for these small ponds because you can cover a ton of water. A lot of times in these ponds, you won't have very many pieces of cover, so you'll make sure you hit that cover as much as you can to make sure you're not leaving any fish behind. Now, it doesn't take long for a bait like a lipless crankbait to fire up a lot of bites in a small pond like this but there's some big differences between fishing these in warm water and cold water. So what exactly do you have to know for fishing these baits in the winter time? So when you're working it in the winter time, when it's real cold out, I'll let your rod tip do a lot of the work. Bring my rod tip up real slowly like that and let it flutter back down. And a cool thing about the Super Spot, it's got a really enticing fluttering action that those fish go crazy for. When you pick that bait back up, those fish are gonna hit it on the fall. I'll be darned. There he is. Nice one too. Get it right on the fall. That's why it's so important to not have a steady reel when you're working this bait, when these fish aren't as active. They'll hit it when it's falling, and man, he got it too. generally two types of colors that work the best in this super spot. The first type is more of a shiny base pattern. This is a chrome black back. This is going to work the best in any type of sunny conditions or clear water. Because that bait shines so well in the water, those fish are going to be able to see it really good and key in on it. Red craw or a chartreuse color. This is going to work good on a day like today, which is what we're fishing. Kind of muggy, rainy, a lot of fog, and the water is not very clear. So these fish are going to be tucked up close to cover are gonna be close to the bottom, a bait like this is gonna be highly visible to them. Oh, here's another one. Oh, gosh. We came right off that log. Here he comes. Another good one. This is a really good color to be throwing today, too. In the winter time, we're trying to mimic a crawfish because these fish are gonna be on the bottom looking for crawfish to eat. During the winter time, when they begin mating, they begin molting from kind of an olive green craw to a reddish orange tint like that. Crawfish actually make a really distinct noise whenever they're on that hard surface and they're walking around. It's kind of like a pitter patter or a ticking or a tapping. And that's exactly what these rattles in this bait sound like. Oh, there's one right there. Close to the bank, too. There it is. Boy, especially for these small ones like this, it's really important when you throw this bait to have a real soft rod tip because whenever you yank up on that rod, you don't want to be yanking that bait right out of his mouth. The big key to fishing these lipless crankbaits in the wintertime is keeping that bait close to the bottom. That's not to say you can't catch a fish in open water, but if you're using a crawfish colored bait, keep in mind those crawfish will actually burrow their heads in the mud in the wintertime, and they usually won't leave their homes unless they're forced to.
counts. Man. You can have so much fun throwing these lipless crankbaits in the wintertime. As long as you've got the right color, you throw it with the right action, you can't go wrong.